Hello everyone and love for all my girl guides and girl scout sisters throughout Asia Pacific region and whoever is watching me today. I am Mahnas, Mahnas Hussain Fariba from Bangladesh Girl Guides Association. I am a young leader and currently working with project committee of my member organization and I am also working in program team for 14th Asia Pacific Regional Conference and also working in membership P working group and representing Asia Pacific region there. I hope by now you have already received my election booklet and my profile and already you have created your events air accounts and you have seen me from your exhibition space. Yes, I am your candidate for Asia Pacific Regional Committee nominated by Bangladesh Girl Guides Association. But today what I am going to tell all of you is not written in the election booklet profile. Today I have sit here with the photo of my mother who has been my inspiration and my motivation to join Girl Guides. My mother also was a part of Bangladesh Girl Guides Association since she was young girl and she has been elected five times in the executive committee and before passing away in December she was working as publication commissioner for the executive committee in Bangladesh Girl Guides Association. When I was a kid of five year old she held my hands and she took me to Girl Guides headquarters and I've met several foreigner friends there and look at this badge I got this badge when I was a five year old kid I still didn't go, get registered at that point as a yellow bird but uh, getting this badge motivated me to pursue my work as being registered into girl guides and going forward with this and then when I was a seven year old kid in 1999 I joined my yellow bird troop in my school and from that time on I'm still with this girl guiding movement. You see, I've been here uh, with a mission, with a vision, and with a dream for all of us all together. Right now, I'm standing here at the capital region of Bangladesh Girl Guides Association. This is the place from where I have started my girl guiding journey as a yellow bird, and as a guide, and as a ranger, I have also worked with capital region. I'm standing here in front of Dhaka region of Bangladesh Girl Guides Association. This is the place where I am currently working as a young leader member in the executive committee. I have so many memories with this place too because from 2015 I have started working as an executive committee member here in Dhaka region. As a young leader I have got that opportunity in the first place to join the executive committee of this region and till now I I'm an executive member of this place. Right now, I'm standing here in front of the head office of Bangladesh Girl Guides Association. It is a very nice building and I welcome all of you who will visit our member organization in future. Please do visit our headquarters here. Right now, I'm working here as a member of Central Project Committee. And before that, I was a member of Central Training Committee. And before that, I was a member of Website Management and ICT Management Committee. It's always great to walk down the memory lane. When I was a kid, this used to be a big field where I usually came for yellow bird troop meetings. And now it's a big, beautiful building and a beautiful campus of our own. I'm standing here at the Mujib corner of our member organization, Bangladesh Girl Guides. Uh, this is a place where we uh, are exhibiting the life and history of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He is the person for whom Bangladesh has achieved independence. And with his support and intervention, Bangladesh Girl Guides Association was formed after independence. I would request all my friends from Asia Pacific region to do a Google search on our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. You'll be amazed to know about the life history of our father of the nation, 
and how he brought independence to us. I usually love to sit at this corner of my home because this showcase contains all the awards I have achieved throughout my life. My first international experience with girl guiding was back in 2000 when I was just an 8 year old kid. I attended International Brownies Festival in Malaysia as a part of Bangladesh delegation and after that I attended 11th Asia Pacific Regional Conference in Tokyo as a young leader from Bangladesh Girl Guides. All these experiences have taught me leadership skills and have enriched my worldly mindset. I have also learned a lot when I visited Sangam in Pune and also I visited our chalet in Adelwood. So these experiences have made me who I am right now and I believe girl guiding has given me a lot and it would be my privilege to serve this movement in any capacity and to work for strengthening the girl guiding movement in Asia Pacific region so that we all can work together for our growth as a whole. I believe all of us can work together to ensure that the Compass 2032 and Global Strategy of OX can be properly implemented in this region and also the APR Action Plan. We need to work together to implement the APR Action Plan and all I want is to offer support to member organizations and everybody involved so that my skills complement to others who are right now in a PRC and together as a team we can extend our support to member organizations who need it the most right now because we know that since COVID-19 pandemic many member organizations have seen membership decline and some member organizations are struggling with developing their digital capacity. So we all need to work together to address these issues so that our APR action plan becomes a success in the next triennium. If I can get an opportunity to land in APRC and serve all of you, I would like to work so that all the member organizations become agile and thriving. All of us can have that efficiency and capacity to organize joint projects together, I mean international collaboration, and all the member organizations can equally participate and arrange digital events. I believe that if we work together and extend more support to member organizations then girl guiding will be rewarding and inclusive. Girl guiding will reach all the disadvantaged communities and the girls who otherwise cannot join our movement and have international experience because of uh, lack of funding. So I would like to work with external donor organizations and I would like to collaborate with them so that we can get more funding for our region and extend our support to all the young women and volunteers who otherwise cannot attend to international events or programs because of lack of funding. We can arrange more leadership programs and more training programs if we have more funds. So all I want is the development of capacity of all member organizations and the growth of girl guiding movement in this region. So this is why I would like to work with all of you so that we can develop funds. We can increase diversity in all our committees and teams and even in member organizations. We can extend our trainings and international opportunities to girls from disadvantaged backgrounds and I would love to work for making this girl guiding experience a rewarding and inclusive experience for every volunteer involved. 
Right now, our first priority will be the successful implementation of APR action plan and at this point right now the whole world is coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic in the last two or three years all of us were attending digital programs but right now there will be a shift we will go to physical programs uh, so this will be a shifting time for us and at this point we need more funds so that the shifting is smooth uh, and I would like to work for this so that the member organizations can smoothly adapt to this change. I know we are here for volunteerism and we all have a job to feed ourselves and most of us are full-time professionals. But what I intend to do is for the next three years I will make time and make myself available for working with APRC in case I get an opportunity to work for all of you. I'm a bureaucrat and I'm working in Bangladesh Administrative Service. We get transferred to different ministries within a very short time because uh, in my five years of job experience, I have been transferred to Ministry of Public Administration, Ministry of Land, Cabinet Division, and right now I'm working with Ministry of Shipping. So all these experiences have given me an idea as a whole on how a government works. These experiences have taught me governance skills, administration and management skills, and also strategic planning skills. As a young woman, I support the needs and the voice of young women. And in case I get an opportunity, to work in the APRC, I will be the voice and representative for all the young women in Asia Pacific region and I'm reachable through any social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram, Signal and anybody can drop me email so that young women can collaborate with me and their voice is reflected through me in the APRC. By the next regional conference, I would like to see that all the member organizations have smoothly shifted to hybrid methods of program delivery and there is a sustainable growth of our movement in this region. This is why we all need to work together and I believe that I can complement the skills of existing APRC with my skills and experience and the different perspective which I will bring to the table. All I need is your support and your vote in the 14th Asia Pacific Regional Conference on 13th August. Please know more about me from my election booklet and my CV which have already been communicated to you. I hope we all will meet in the near future and we will have happy times together over a cup of coffee. But before that, I am reaching all of you through video and digital media. Please keep me in your prayers and let's keep smiling. Thank you.